Hey everyone, welcome to episode 6 now of our Boreal Forest playthrough of RimWorld Alpha 12D. Um, and yeah, we in the last episode we managed to fight off a raid in the presence of a psychic ship. So our main job in the last episode was to get these turrets up and running so we can actually attack this crash ship. Now I don't know what's in there right now, there could be a centipede, a scyther, two scythers, two centipedes, whatever, I have no clue right now. But thankfully, my workers are focusing on building this power conduit, and then we can start attacking this bad boy. Uh, in the last episode also, we ran out of food in our hydroponics area. That's because we ran out of power. So to meet that need, we had to start rebuilding the geothermal generator. But we had to make sure we had enough steel for that. So, yeah, things are, are, are difficult right now, but, you know, I think we can do it. We can manage. Reinstein is now bringing back a squirrel. Good man, Reinstein. And Oz, nice. I tell you what, Oz, before you go back, will you work on that power conduit for me? Come on, mate. Now, oh, here we go, Oz. Prioritize constructing power conduit. And Nails is coming to do the next one. Now, these have power. So, let's make sure we have enough power. I think we're going to have to wait for daytime. I was going to do it overnight, but it looks like daytime is going to be our friend because we've got no power to to power them. So if we start attacking them, basically what will happen is, I assume, the centipedes will just destroy our turrets. And then we'll be in big trouble. Oh, God, the psychic pulse has driven nearby animals mad. Yay. And, and the squirrel is attacking our, our uh, turret. Lovely. Thank you. All right, at least the sun's rising now. Let's make sure we've got power everywhere before we go any further. And we do. Wonderful. All right, so in order to deal with this, I'm going to set restrictions to area one for the humans and also area one for the animals, but I'm going to need to increase the size of that. So let's go here. Area, oh, area one. Let's make that bigger. Area one there there and then for the animals too now this basically means that the um, animals and the humans can't actually go anywhere else apart from these areas so that will leave them safe while we attack the um, attack the crashed ship so now what I want to do is set false target and kick this dude's ass now I'm gonna have to pause the game again once whatever's inside there comes out and it's a centipede all right just one that is a relief Okay, here we go. Set force target. And then one last one. And then hopefully this thing won't survive too long. Oh my god. What is he carrying? An inferno cannon. That's really going to help me. Thanks. We might actually struggle to kill this dude. But he's taking a number of shots. Oh dear. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. While, while three of them are attacking that, I'm going to get one of them focusing on the crash ship. That'll at least give us a chance of destroying the crash ship, which is ruining everyone's moods. Alright, oh look, we got a cooking squirrel down there. Hey, hey, we won't have to cook it at all. It'll already be roasted. Somebody who's going out hunting, like Einstein, he can just go pick it up and take a chunk out of it. You know what I mean? Lovely. Alright, how can you tell how much health these things have left? My girlfriend said it's something to do with this little bar down here on the bottom left. I can see it on the scythers, but I can't see it on the centipede. See, to me, it looks like he's taking all these gunshots. He must be nearly dead. But if this black bar is his health, then he's barely lost any. So I don't know. How's a crash ship getting on? 85%. This guy has to be dead. Look at him. 16 gunshots to the third body ring, 11 to the fourth, and 11 to the fifth. And he's had his fifth body ring shot off completely. He's got to be nearly dead. Ah, oh, he's knocked out the power to that one. Don't start shooting this one as well. Damn it. No. Come on. Destroy him. Yeah, he's down. Awesome. All right, going to get them to focus on killing him. This one to focus on the ship. And then after this, before I unpause it, actually, I'm going to get people, get their restrictions taken off, which is one thing I always forget. Which thankfully, I've remembered this time. Yay, me. <laughs> And I'm going to get another bedroom built. Also, what I want to build is the... I can't remember what they're called. The vitals monitoring. I want to get those built so that the people... Um, the colonists actually have like a medical place they can go to. And 
not be in too much trouble. Um, and it will aid in their recovery from infections if they get any, which they probably will. It's me playing this, remember. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I want to do. So, before we go any further, let's do that. Miscellaneous, Vitals Monitor. Let's just get one at least. Um, and that should help out. I don't think you have to build it right next to the head, do you? Can it just be next to the bed, I think? Alright, drone intensifier. Okay, we've got a fire. So, these turrets I'm actually just going to dismantle anyway. Don't need them. Oh, no, not yet, actually. God, what am I doing? Lost my concentration for a second. Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's nearly gone. Yeah, the centipede's dead. And the psychic pressures that have been afflicting our people for so long will be over. Yay! And we get some steel, silver, and an AI persona call. Wicked. Alright, now we can deconstruct these. And also, actually, we can deconstruct all of this. We don't need that there. All of that. And, yeah, all of that too. Give us some much-needed steel. Okay, how's our food supply going? Badly. Uh-oh. Okay, so we need this sorted out. Oh, there's some more steel up there. Wicked. Let's grab that. Okay, now, who is in charge of growing around here? Because you're not doing a very good job. Growing, constructing Chloe. So let's get Chloe off of uh, constructing now and get planting those, those fruits and veggies again. Yeah, we need this. Definitely need this geothermal generator. Because power, once again, is running out. So, drone, we can get rid of these messages now. Yay, we survived! I bet you never thought I'd be able to do this, did you guys? I didn't think it either, to be honest. But I have. And I feel victorious. Yeah. Okay. I wonder what's in here. Slate wall. I'm going to get one of those deconstructed. There might be something valuable in there. Something that will help us. Yeah, Chloe's now planting. Okay, now hopefully today this generator will be built. And cool. Rheinstein and J-Pop mining the steel that we need for it. Poor mood. Rheinstein, what's the matter with you now, mate? Feeling terrible, cramped environment. That's because you're mining. What do you expect? It's not exactly going to be an open planned office suite, is it? Yeah, plum. <laughs> Area revealed. Oh, fancy. Where is this area? Yeah, oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, there's nothing in there. Yay, that's not cool at all. <laughs> okay, our defenses are now shorn up. See, this whole area here is blocked off. It's not with the strongest material, but what it does mean is that anyone who comes in... Oh, hold on, they're going to be blocked off there. We need that mined. J-pop, will you mine that for me? Yeah, we need that mined, so then basically what we're doing is leading any any uh, attackers come on mate hurry up leading any attackers around here to face this barrage of turrets that we got here and before I go any further I've just noticed we need three more two more turrets built up here there we go yeah good job j -Pop. he's done that wonderful oh sugar here comes the starvation Rheinstein is there anyone to call no okay we're relying on ourselves now I wonder what happened to all those elk that were down here. They must have, like, ran away or something. Cannibalism may have to be activated, guys. Who wants human meat? Not me, that's for sure, but too bad. <laughs> There's some more squirrels. Get them hunted. Problem is, it takes Rheinstein so long. I want him to be able to hunt big animals. It's taken all of them too long to get the food. There's another hare. Any small creatures who come, though, they're just invaluable to us right now. Okay, we just got to hope and pray that we don't run out of power again overnight. Because we've got to keep our fruits and veg growing. But I don't think we've got enough power in battery storage here. We shall see. How's this going? Still needs loads more power. Okay, nails. I guess you're taking that to the geothermal. No, you're building a turret. Right. Do you guys really think that needs priority? Yeah, hmm, I certainly don't. Starvation, we've got three people with starvation now. Crapola! Uh, what do I do? Do I get another person out hunting? Probably should. Um, who else can we get out hunting? Oz? Well, you're, you're constructing. 
Neil's is constructing, though. Yeah. Oz, you want to go hunting, don't you, mate? You're our scientist come hunter. You're a man of all trades. You've got this, young man. Blimey, that temperature is plummeting outside. It's now only 8, 9 degrees inside. 10 degrees in this one. And power shortage again. Come on, Ozymandias. Go hunting. Look, hunt this squirrel here. Get us food. I hope we get another trader come by so we can get some more food bought. Because <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of our hydroponics lab. I'll tell you what we could do. Let's just toggle toggle two of them off, see if that helps a little. No, toggle three of them off. Let's just see if that helps a little bit. Do need do need this built ASAP. Nails, what are you doing? Playing horseshoes, seriously? Okay, Emmy. You're already constructing this. Good, good. Alright, so there are people working on it. That's what I like to see. So maybe by the end of this day, they'll have this built. Starvation for everyone. Wonderful. There's another animal there. Hunting. Now this guy, Petrarch. We, we need to kill this guy. Cannot prioritize. How do I get the animal killed? Probably... Ah, is it for the best or not? Oh, crap. Emily, the sex slave, has gone crazy. She might actually kill one of our dogs. Just ignore her nails. Run. Run, you beast. Okay, what's everyone doing? Yeah, Reinstein's carrying back food. Cool. How's the dog getting on? Are you beating this Emmy up? Or She can't fight, so I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, the dog's going to take you out, Emmy. She's about the best person we could hope to have got broken. <laughs> okay, where's our cooker? Nails. You're building that. Really, dude? No, you're not. You're butchering. Colonist needs rescue. Emmy. 39% bleeding. Ech. Okay, well, this is our new medical bed. Chloe, you rescue Emmy. Oh, he's, he's already uh, reserved. Okay. Yeah, nails, you make food. Seriously? Seriously? Oh, man. Cut that animal up. And then cook it. Come on. You've got materials now. Cook it, yes. Cook at least one meal. Yeah, good man. Yeah, there's more animals. Wonderful. All right, we've got a pirate merchant. That offers some hope if we have power. <laughs> These crops are going to die once more. Wow, this is one annoying. No, they're not going to die. There's, there's a slimmer of power coming through. The electrons are charging through, trying to keep our plants growing. Wow. All right, apologies for that, everyone, but the game crashed once more. But yeah, the elk are back. Let's get them hunted. Reinstein, this is no time to sleep. This is time to hunt elk and get food. Ozymandias, you too, my friend. Uh, you need sleep, but mm, food is more important right now. And there's a pirate merchant who we need to call. So, Emmy, let's get J-Pop on that. You call the pirate merchant. Any food? You got beer, that's about all you got. Uh, okay then, we can't do that. Yeah, that's it, murder them elk. Yeah, look at Reinstein close range with a pistol. I don't want these elk to escape, you know. Oz, what are you doing? Visiting grave, seriously dude? No you're not, you're hunting. You can visit the, the elk's grave afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. Nails is now going to prepare food. Sweet! We have food for everyone. Starvation will be a thing of the past, at least for a little while. <laughs> okay. What? A... Yes, we have our geothermal generator. All right, what I'm going to do is toggle these back on. And how much? Mm -mm -mm. Do you know what we need to do, actually? We need to surround this with a wall so that we can actually mine this. I think that's one way of doing it. And let, let's also grab that steel while it's there. Okay, is there any other close by steel? Got some gold there. We've got taken all that steel already. I'm just thinking in terms of uh, getting ready to build another geothermal generator. Okay, let's do that. Winter has begun. Oh my God, as if it hasn't been cold enough already. Terrible mood, Emmy and Oz. Emmy, how are you doing with your health? Oh god, she's gone crazy again. 
J pop shanker. Chloe, will you help? It has to be done. Emmy must be put down. Emmy's sex slave is no longer. Oh! She came out of it and then she went. got knocked down. Okay. Ah, that's it. Chloe, you rescue her. Okay, look at the size of that elk. Yeah! Reinstein, stop going to sleep. Where's the elk gone? Get another elk for us. What about Oz? Where is Oz? Oh, there's Oz. You're still visiting a grave. Jesus, mate. Get over your religiousness. -ness -ness. There you go. Hunt that elk. Yeah, murder them. Look at that. We're going to be eating elk burgers for days. Love it. That's it. Nails is chopping it up. How come you don't get the antlers as well? You could do something with the antlers. Build a club or something. Mm -mm. That's it. Reinstein, seriously. Food, mate. Food. Yeah, Oz is massacring them. And Reinstein's not doing a bad job either. We've got plenty of food for at least for a little while. Six meals, three elks. And Oz is going out to... Ah, hunt that one. And Chloe's visiting graves. Right. We actually need more graves, so I'm going to make some more down here. Yeah, because there's plenty of dead bodies around. Yeah, there's one. Okay, so how much power do we have now? Plenty of power. Okay, so hauling, growing, plant cutting, and hauling. Disease infection. Emmy, no! Where are you, Emmy? Emmy, we need to get you in this bed. And you're only 1% immune from a minor infection. Hopefully... This vitals monitor will help. See, it gives you medical treatment quality improvement of 4% and immunity uh, improvement speed of plus 2%. So that's really going to help. Okay, how are we doing for food? We're still good. Look at all that blood. Jeepers, jeepers, creepers. Okay, we can hunt all those creatures. And that one's due to be hunted as well. Now, at least this will keep us going for a little while. It could be a whole lot worse. I've managed to steer us through... A quite a rough patch here. Uh, just thinking about it. Let me check here. Oh yeah, that is connected. Good, good. Reinstein, stop visiting graves. That's just ridiculous. Chloe's hauling stuff. Okay, let's get. I want to get these trees chopped out of the way because it's take. It's just slowing them down. Getting into this area to store store all the all the goodies. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Now, is there any more animals around? Let's see. Before they stop moving, there's two more. Two more hairs. Colonist needs treatment. Chloe, what happened? Oh, God, you probably got shot while... Uh, I think you got shot while we were hunting. Okay, let's make that a medical bed. Get her some treatment. Yay! We've made it through some bad stuff already. Oh, there's another hair. I'm going to get Reinstein to haul that elk as well when he wakes up. And j -Pop, he's only just going to bed. And so is Oz. Well played, boys. Well played. All right, we, got, we need more bedrooms now as well, actually. So let's go and set some more mining. Get him to dig all the way up that way. And like that. And then everyone can eventually have their bedroom. And we can build a table so people get a bit happier that they're eating off of something other than the floor. <laughs> okay, let's build a wooden table. Put that there. Get a few wooden dining chairs. Let's get four for now. That'll do. Wonderful. All right. I feel like we're in a good place right now. We've got food to last us for a little bit. Um, it's got some burying to do. Got a dead animal there. Where's Reinstein? What are you doing? Visiting graves. Stop it. Haul the freaking... Haul the elk. That's it. Yeah, we definitely need a crematorium. Maybe we should start thinking about building that. Ah, but then we need Oz to stop hunting. That's okay, actually, and stop constructing. We'll get him back on research for a little while. Because we are currently researching cremation, so we get that done. Ah, uh, oh, J-Pop's doing mining, so what that's going to do is increase that area, so the temperature's going to decrease in here. Damn. All right, so we're going to have to put a wall across here. And a 
across there, and hopefully that will mitigate too much, mitigate most of the heat loss. Okay, I think that's a good point to leave the episode then, guys. It's been uh, eventful, if, if nothing else. I've managed to stave off hunger for them, uh, at least for a little while. We've killed this centipede, and yeah, we're in a good place. So let's leave it there, and I'll see you on the next episode tomorrow. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please remember to click the like button, send me all your comments, tips, everything. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Mwah. See you soon.